Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and we welcome you to the campus of Missouri Southern State University here in the beautiful city of Joplin, Missouri as we have a big night of action in store for you brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions in association with Tony Holden Productions and Showtime. At this time, we present the first of our featured attractions. It is sanctioned by the IBF President Marian Muhammad, Supervisor Tim Lukenhoff, along with the Missouri Office of Athletics. Introducing to you at this time are three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Moose, Germany, we have Arthur Ellenson. From St. Paul, Minnesota, Denny Nelson. And from St. Louis, Missouri, Crystal Wright. Introducing our third man of the ring, the referee in charge of this bout from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Ernest Sharif. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the IBF Super Middleweight Title Eliminator. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim, hailing from Dnepropetrovsk in the, the Ukraine. He weighed in at 167 pounds. He is undefeated with a record of 15 wins, no losses, eight wins coming by way of knockout. Out. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBA International Super Middleweight Champion, ranked number nine in the world by the IBF, introducing the undefeated Vitaly Sitko. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, this 12-round title eliminator. He is wearing white trunks with blue trim, joining us from his home in St. Petersburg, Florida. He weighed in at 167 and one half pounds. He is a 2000 US Olympian and is undefeated in his campaign in the ring as a professional with a record of 16 wins, no losses, 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the NABA, USBA, and WBC Continental America's Super Middleweight Champion, introducing the undefeated Jeff Lepko. in charge, Ernest Sharif, now to give instructions. Strip down, strip down, both, go strip down, strip down, strip down, take the shirts off. All right, fellas, you receive your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to obey my command at all times and protect yourself at all times. These are the no marks here. Anything from here down is illegal. Shake hands. Do you have any questions for me, sir? Any, any questions, sir? Shake hands, come out box. Well, he's not going to get much of a response from Vitaly Zipko, who doesn't speak English. Many feel we'll be looking tonight at a future world champion and the powerfully built Jeff Lacey. As Lacey knows, the right hand, the weapon of choice versus a lefty. So why would that matter to a fighter named left hook? Well, if Zipko is smart, he won't overlook the overhand right of Lacey, which is just as potent, if not more effective, than Lacey's left hook. Now, ironically, he probably throws it more than the left hook. And given Zipko's classic European stand-up style, he could be made to order for Jeff Lacey. You know, uh, many people are probably getting their first look at Vitaly Sipko, I'm sure. And uh, one of the things they need to understand is, and Lacey told us this, he has never faced a lefty as a professional. He's faced people that have switched on him, but he sparred with Winky Wright, who, of course, is the very definition of a classy left-hander. So uh, the sparring with Winky, his, uh, who he knows from St. Petersburg, and the fact that he now has Winky Wright's trainer, Dan Birmingham, in his corner should help him also. No coincidence that Lacey is fighting his first true southpaw as a pro. IBF number one contender Sid Vanderpool of Canada is mandated to fight tonight's winner for the vacant belt. Vanderpool is a southpaw, and he is in attendance here tonight to do a little scouting. 
but it is a guy whose stock dropped dramatically after a terrible fight with Bernard Hopkins a few years ago, resurrecting his career off a win over Tito Mendoza, the man Lacey was supposed to fight before he went through with the recent vision difficulty. You know, the height and reach of Sipko, which when you look at him in there against Lace, and you see that he's got one inch uh, reach advantage and obviously a, a height advantage, especially because Lacey tends to crouch when he fights. It's giving Jeff Lacey some issues here in round one. Granted, it's very early. And Lacey, not the fastest starter, as you know, Al. Very patient at the bell, but they make no mistake, prodigious power. Excellent combination puncher. Loves that double left hook or the overhand right left hook to the body combination. He does have a terrific uh, left hook. Doesn't rely on it all the time, but does have a wide array of weapons. And against Southpaws, there's a big right hand of the jaw by Lacey. Against Southpaws, likes to use the lead right and then come back with a straight jab. Another lead right by Lacey. Simcoe's never been down in his professional career, but clearly has not faced someone with the punching power of Lacey. But I'll tell you what, early on here, he took a couple of very good right hands from Lacey. And uh, while he may have been momentarily at least stopped, he, he wasn't in trouble. Yeah, like many Eastern Bloc fighters, Zipko well-skilled technically. Strong amateur background, but not always the most exciting guy Watch in the, the hits. Ring. Watch the hits. Come on. Oh, big Watch the hits. Watch the hits. Over the left eye, near the bridge of the nose. As the heads collided, now there's blood. I'm not sure it's exactly going into the left eye of Zipko. It's, as you can see, cascading down Watch the, the nose, and some of that's got to get into the eye and blur the vision of Zipko. And we believe it did come from a clash of heads, and Ernie Sharif said it came from a clash of heads. Right, step back, please. So here at the start, urgency for Zipko. Translating the corner, Maxim Kisselin. That was from a head. That was from a head. Okay. Let me see it. See it, guys. Let me see it. You all right? work on it. All right. I'll get here, Vitaly. Right. Okay. No. Nah. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Take some deep breaths. Dr. Fear. Take some deep breaths. That was from a head butt. It was a clash of heads in round one that created the issue. Oh, my. Lacey came straight in, and the heads hit each other. And, of course, it was Sipko that got the worst of that. And uh, Bob Miller, the cut man, a very good cut man, but that's a tough cut to stop. And, of course, we remind you, if they have to stop this before four rounds is completed, it would be a technical draw. The bad slashing cut across the left eye. And so some drama here at the outset for Vitali Zipko on a clash of heads in the opening round. Tough break for Zipko. Now, if you're Zipko, you, you have a real dilemma here. Um, you don't want that cut to be a situation where you get knocked out because of it, and, and you can't uh, fight a different fight than you would have fought. You have to almost accept right. the fact that it's step better for you at a certain point to have them stop the fight and get a technical draw or a no decision, and maybe you do it again. And now the irony here is you just saw the feature on Jeff Lacey. He comes off high problems and now it's a problem for his opponent but Zipko game the southpaw standing in there despite the eye difficulty Zipko certainly wasn't intimidated or awed by fighting here right. or Step back fighting Step uh, back Jeff Lacey uh, we got to be very he, he, he summed this up by saying it's a pretty important fight <laughs> yeah he was very low key and downplaying the whole situation his first fight in the United States right. his right. first fight Step against the clean. guy Box. of Lacey's stature but playing it cool and now he has more adversity right. to face right. that, watch uh, the holding watch the holding from the clash Box. of heads Jeff Lacey, who was regarded as the hardest hitter on the U.S. Olympic team in 2000, not that right hand that shook up Vitaly Sipko, wobbled him momentarily. He's holding now for the first break, time break. in the fight. Step back clean. Box! Block everything. Jeff Lacey very much in command. There's that whipping left hook. Fortunately for Sipko, a glancing blow. 
and he is now smothering Shipko with lefts and rights. He's dangerous with both hands, Lacey. Break, break, break. Step Minute to go, break. round two, oh. and Vitali Zipko in trouble. If you stand right Watch in front of Jeff Lacey, you have issues. One of the things that I thought Sipko needed to do in this fight was dart in and out, to attack, attack, take a little step to the left or the right, or move back, which I, on, on, we had seen him doing some of the tapes that we saw. He instead, he's standing right in front of Lacey. That's a very dangerous plan. And you can't be careless against a guy like Jeff Lacey as well. But you'd like to see Sipko shift into a second gear from time to time. Usually doesn't deviate from the norm. And right now, he's got his hands full with Jeff left hook Lacey. Lacey with a quick left hook up to the, to the chin area. Tough jab, too, by Lacey. Trying to set up the power punch. Break, break, break! Try to hook him, try to hook him. some water up here. Ready for water, Vitaly? Is it still bleeding actively? No, it's not bleeding, but it's, uh, you the doctor? I'm the doctor. Yes. Okay, I want you to look at it. Uh, he got through the muscle. He's all yes. Jeff Lacey, who we talk about his nickname, but the right hand is probably his best power punch. And there was that clubbing overhand right as Sipko was wheeling to his right. And so with that awful cut on top of it all, he's getting whacked with some big punches by Jeff Lacey. If it's not, it's going to start bleeding again. Right, then let's call it. Yeah, right, it's call over. It. Thank you. All the way down. You heard that right fight is over a bad cut. confusion there the referee is determining that this fight is over you heard the crowd reaction the crowd wasn't sure what was going on and uh, the referee Ernest Sharif slowly down to the ball uh, getting the word out that the, he has officially put an end to this fight uh, and not an inappropriate decision that is a huge gash he's saying it's down to the bone it was a clash of heads so there's really no other way to interpret this other than to stop the fight while Jeff Lacey is playing to the crowd the fact of the matter is they should rule this a no decision well, that is a nasty nasty deep gash over the eye of Vitaly Sipko no argument from Sipko uh, I have a feeling uh, He's kind of uh, happy to have the punishment stuff. The rain of a terror on top of his head. And for them, a good tactical move. You notice when they said, maybe we should stop it. Yeah, go ahead, stop it. Because, you know, their man has nothing to gain here. So it was academic, pretty much a moot point. Because uh, Jeff Lacey in total command, dominating from the opening bell. And then the cut opens up in the uh, opening round, making matters even worse for Vitaly Sipko. So not much emotion uh, from the Jeff Lacey corner, as you can see. Well, they, they know this should be a no decision or a technical draw. So I would think that they're not thrilled with the outcome, but it's what can they do? Jimmy, are you ready? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. So this fight stopped on a uh, cut. We'll get the official yeah, like, word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon yeah, Jr. I was, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna take my time. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number two. Our referee in charge stops the contest upon advice of the ringside physician due to a severe cut above the head, above the eye of Sipko. And ladies and gentlemen, IBF rules state that in the event of an accidental foul, the bout must go four rounds for it to go to the scorecards and a decision. This bout has been stopped and is a no decision. Thank you.